What is negative feedback? It's a process that brings about a reversal of any change in conditions, ensures that an optimum steady state can be maintained, is essential for homeostasis. The basic principle of uh, negative feedback is that a stimulus is detected uh, by the receptors and many communication pathways pass it on to the effectors which uh, produce a response. Uh, the response is to reverse the change and uh, so you know everything goes back to the norm and that. A good example of temperature homeostasis is the thermostat example where uh, a stimulus is detected. Here is uh, the low temperature which uh, passes on to the heater. This uh, produces a response where the heaters are turned on. Heat is produced and uh, the uh, temperature of the room uh, increases. And uh, so, you know, vice versa and that, you know, if it's other way around, you know, it'd be different, you know, I mean, yeah, respect. Basically, thermal regulation is uh, the you know the regulation of a uh, core body temperature. Uh, you can have a stimulus to say you know increase body temperature when you're exercising or you know hot surroundings or something. Yeah, uh, the thermostat in the hypothalamus activates uh, cooling mechanisms. Uh, the skin blood vessels dilate uh, and uh, capillaries fill with warm uh, blood. Heat radiates from skin surface. Um, the body temperature decreases and uh, the thermostat shuts the, off the cooling mechanism. Uh, sweat glands activate and uh, so you know increasing the evaporative uh, cooling and me. Another stimulus would be to say, you know, if uh, the, the decrease in body temperature, example, due to cold surroundings, you know, uh, the thermostat in the hypothalamus activates the warming mechanisms. Here, the skeletal muscles activate, uh, shivering generates more heat. Body temperature increases, thermostat shuts off warming mechanisms, skin blood vessels constrict, diverting blood to, from skin to deeper tissues and reducing heat loss from skin surface. Bra